Welcome back to Walnut Springs. My name is Mike. Today, I wanna to show you how to take your tubeless compatible wheels and make them tubeless. Let's get to it. So the first step we're gonna to wanna to do is let out all the air, take off the tire, the tube, if you have a tube in here. Now, one thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have is a removable core Presta valve this will make it a lot easier to get air in there and also tire sealant in the future. Now, once you've got all the air out of the tire, you're just gonna to wanna to take your tire levers and pry this off of the rim. I really like these Park Tools uh, TL1 levers. They are really sturdy and strong. I wanna say they're metal enforced, but I'm not, I'm not really sure if there's metal on the inside of this, but these things work really well and they come in a pack of three. Now that I've got the tire off the rim, what I like to do if I've gone tubeless before like this one is just take a paper towel and kind of wipe the inside of this, drying it off as best you can. Now that you've cleaned off the tire, go ahead and do the same thing with the rim. Just go around it and clean it off really well. A day has gone by, I let my rim fully dry out from cleaning it really well after the Gorilla Tape left quite a bit of residue on there. I've decided that this time I'm going to use the Stans uh, rim tape and I might be using this from now on. The Gorilla Tape works really, really well, but it does leave quite a bit of residue on your rim. This process is gonna be the exact same way no matter if you use rim tape or if you use Gorilla Tape. On your rim, you're gonna have your spoke holes and then you're also going to have your valve hole. What I recommend doing is from your, the hole where your valve goes through, go over two spoke holes and take your rim tape and start it there. And that way you have a good overlap between where your valve actually is. Now the rim tape isn't as sticky, so just make sure you hold it down with your thumb as you pull it tight, and then slightly put it in place. Now that you've got your rim tape in place, just go around and lightly press along the outer edge of the rim just to make sure that that tape adheres really well to the rim. And that is the rim tape fully installed and the next thing is going to be to put the valve stem back in place. Now the next part is locate the valve stem hole and what I like to do is take a pick and then just basically poke through from the bottom up just so I get a nice centered hole there. And then I can go right down through here again to make it a little bit wider. Okay, now we can take our valve stem and we can poke it in through the valve stem hole that we created. And you wanna make sure that you get this nice and tight in here and that the tape is seated really well around it. This is generally where you're going to find the most leaks whenever you go tubeless. Most people find this to be the most frustrating part of tubeless is getting that seal really well around the valve stem. And then with most valve stems, you're gonna have a little rubber gasket and then a little nut that will screw onto the valve. Go ahead and place the rubber gasket on first, just like this. And then you can take the little nut that comes with it and start tightening this down. Now that we've got the rim tape on and the valve stem installed, we're ready to install the tire. And just make sure on this part that you are putting the tire on the rim in the right direction, because it would not be fun to have to pull this all apart just because you got the tire on backwards. Now there's a couple different ways that you could do this. You could leave a little bit open for you to put sealant in but I like to go through the valve stem whenever I do this. That way I know once I've got the sealant in here, I don't struggle with getting the tire on because it's already put in place. One thing that's definitely worth investing in as soon as you go tubeless is get a sealant injector. This one's made by Stans and I have used this for years. As you can see, it's kind of old, but it'll thread onto the Presta valve. It'll allow you to inject sealant directly through the valve. 
So the thing that I do first before I put any sealant in this is I like to thread this on. That way it's easier, less mess. I just thread this onto the valve without the core installed into the valve. And once this is threaded on there, I remove the plunger. Now most of these have measurements on them and usually you wanna put about two ounces in a standard mountain bike tire. Sometimes whenever you're doing new tires, you may need a little bit more than two ounces. I'm just gonna use the standard Stans tire sealant. There's all kinds of different brands out there, but this is what I've used for years and I've had really good luck in the area where I live. What you wanna do is shake this up. That way any of the little grit pieces that are in the sealant that are settled at the bottom get mixed in with the sealant because that will help seal up the punctures. You're just going to take this and then put some inside the injector. There you go. Now it'll be a little bit more than two ounces just because it starts to go down in there while you're filling it up. But then you can take your little plunger, pop that on there, and then get it to push all the way down in. Once you've done that, you're ready to unthread this. And then we can take our air compressor and we can start airing up the tire. Now that we got our air compressor aired up, we are ready to inject some air into this tire. This little tool is really handy. It's designed to blow off uh, workbenches and things like that. But the tip of this fits really well into the valve. So let's go ahead and set this down on the valve and let it air up. Now generally you'll start to hear some popping. Just like that. It's a little terrifying, but I've got plenty of pressure in here now. So what I can do now that I know the bead is set, I can just lay this down and put my finger over the valve. Then I can take my valve core and I can slowly start to put it in place. Now you will lose some air, but don't worry because that popping sound that you heard was the tire setting in place. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna to want to basically go around and shake all that sealant in there really well. Sometimes this process can be very frustrating and you may come out the next morning and your tire is completely flat. Don't give up on the process though, just put some more air back in it and keep repeating by shaking this tire around, trying to find out where the air is actually leaking from and focusing on that area, getting as much sealant to that area as you can. You may have to add more sealant as you go, but just play it by ear. Eventually your tire will seal up, especially if you're running a tubeless compatible system. And there you go, that is how you replace your rim tape using either Gorilla Tape or standard rim tape and also add tire sealant to make your tires tubeless. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. Have you tried to go tubeless? Was it a good experience or a bad experience? And if you saw any tools in this video that you think you're gonna need to make the tubeless process work for you, look down in the description below. I'll put some links down there. If you click on those links, it does come back and help out the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.